Hello, Donna Cato here. Welcome to my channel. Now, today's tutorial is this laminate sheet, okay? Now, of course, I'm not going to have time to teach you how to make all the flowers and the leaves. These flowers and leaves, um, well, these two are this one, and this one are on the open channel, but the other elements are in the members classroom in another class. So if you're a member and you've watched that class or even taken it, you probably have these elements um, sitting there waiting to be turned into a laminate for an Eno box. Now the Eno box is a class uh, in the members classroom. So you will have everything you need to make this box. <laughs> All right. Okay, so I think I got that straight. Um, this process, which I refer to as painting with canes, it's a lot of fun. I think you're going to enjoy the process, and, and it's kind of a surprise when you get the sheet completed and you've made this really beautiful thing out of these separate elements. And you know, it's really a beautiful process. It's also a very simple process. So this class features just, uh, it, it will run mostly at eight times because I don't think you have to watch in real time. Because the process itself, while it may be simple, is also rather time consuming. So I think you will get the picture. So now, I think it's time for us to start. Well, here are the things I'm going to use. My favorite flower, my favorite leaf, my next to the favorite <laughs> leaves. Uh -uh. And, um, you know, I've got some little eeny weeny teeny tiny ones. It's just very simple little Skinner blend with a gold wrap. This is just one of these. <laughs> See? Like that. And I had leftover and it's been sitting in the box and you know I like it so this is possible just to use in certain places just one or two of them. I've grabbed this as a starry night cane that was made with a lot of gold and copper and some black and some you know whatever happened to be lying around and I think this is going to be perfect for um, stems and branches. All right so let's just <laughs> push that aside. So, I did the old let's wrap paper around the form. I, I just need to know how much I have to make. This is how much I have to make exactly, but I think I will add just a tad more. So I don't end up doing a lot that I will never use. Now, I'm working on a tile. Um, I thought about working on paper, but I think a tile is a better choice because we're doing something that, while it's not color replacement, I am going to be doing a lot of smoothing thin slices in, that sort of thing. And, uh... So I think a tile is going to help me a lot more. I haven't done this in, a, in quite a while, you know. Having the channel is sort of, sort of time stamping a lot of stuff that I did and haven't done in a very long time. Things that I really love to do. But... Uh, I've just done other things. Okay. All right, so let's find the center approximately. I'm going to try my darndest to have a nice join, if you know what I mean. Place where the two, the two ends join, so there's the middle. 
Now, the way these sheets are constructed, you lay down the things that are farthest, that recede, go in first. And then the pieces like the flower would go in last after I lay down a bed of leaves and branches, whatever I'm going to do. Well, the way I work, it's sort of been, I make the branches, I really, and then at the end, I'm like, well, where do I put the flower? And maybe that's backward. Maybe that's just backwards. Maybe I at least have to know where the flower is going. It seems obvious, but sometimes the most obvious things get lost. Okay, so if this is the front, let's say I want flowers like there and maybe one down here. I don't necessarily want the flower dead center in front of my face. Okay, so let's say I'm going to put one there and let's say I will plan on putting another down here, something like that, you know. And then the ones that go into the back, maybe maybe I do need, don't need to pay quite so much attention to. No, I'm not going to leave it there because I still have to build the background first. So let me just kind of put this, that's where the flower is. Here is approximately where the other flower will go. Yeah, I mean, I don't know why I sort of completely ignore that part of the design process. It's like, oh, I'll just throw the flower anywhere. I don't know, live and learn. I want this taller because I'm going to be cutting this way. So let's make a nice tall, tall stack like that. That looks good. <laughs> and I'm thinking I'm just going to cut thin set that aside and I'm going to roll this through the pasta machine very thin uh, this way or that way I'm going to try this way I'm setting this on the rollers and I'm going to roll this through like setting number six four <laughs> setting number four Let's see what happens. Okay, I stretched it out quite a bit. Now, you know what? I think I'm gonna turn it the other way. So this is setting five. I'm gonna put this edge on the rollers. There we go. That's looking better. And now finally six, also this edge on the rollers. See this branchy stuff? Doesn't have to be particularly thick. Okay, so here we go. I'm just going to put it down. Yeah, I'm going to use paper. Why not? Let the paper help me. Help me, help me. Okay. Got nice and long. Scrap. All right, so let's start building... Our branches. And maybe I could have drawn it out too. I mean, you guys, some of you are much more, oh, you know, you plan, you plan, you plan. And then there's me. <laughs> and I tend to just let the clay fly.
I should probably be more like you guys and have a plan. I don't know. At my age, maybe it's too late. Maybe it's too late to have a plan. All right. So I'm going to stop there. But for instance, you could lay out your, lay it all out in advance. If you chose to. Okay, so I will do that. Now, let's say I wanted to make it quite a bit thicker at the base. I hope I'm not repeating myself. Although that would hardly be the first time that's ever happened. But you just kind of build where you want. Where you want. Okay. Like so. Okay. So I will continue building. And... Uh, and then we're going to roll it all in. Well, we're going to roll the tree in.